This is News Always On. Several food establishments in Singapore have found creative ways of marking the upcoming historic summit between US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. One restaurant put together American and Korean elements in a rice dish popular in Singapore and neighboring Malaysia, called Trump Kimchi Nasloma. The dish features US dry aged beef and a stack of South Korea's national dish, spicy kimchi. The eatery also uses basmatic rice, a healthier alternative which is cooked in chicken stock. There's a lot of meaning behind this creation, not just a gimmick. So uh, that's why we choose uh, US beef special, special dry aged as well. To, to let people know that uh, we use uh, US export beef, I mean uh, US beef, uh, because it's very it's very important for US export for beef, and of course for for Kim Jun, uh, we use uh, kimchi, which is a is a like, national dish for, for them, and uh, yeah, this whole thing com- uh, comes together with our rice um, and uh, balancing the whole taste. Meanwhile, a Mexican restaurant came up with the idea of specialty tacos to celebrate the historic meeting with the tagline, "Make tacos great again." El Gringo is a cheese burger taco, while El Hombre Cohet is made out of Korean fried chicken. We felt that um, it was a wonderful opportunity to have, get a little bit creative and have a little bit of fun and, um, and come up with, with the two tacos that uh, represents um, you know, America and, and, um, and Korea. One bar is offering specialty cocktails, naming it the Chum, a layered bourbon-based drink in the colours of the American flag. The kim is deep red and shaken with soju, a vodka-like alcohol loved in both North Korea and South Korea. Customers can also play a drinking game with red and blue shots, representing the two countries. I think it, 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 it reflects well on Singapore that we are not all that quiet. We can be very colourful if we want to, so that's a good thing. On a more serious note, the Singapore Mint, which has been documenting history through coins and medallions, recently unveiled commemorative medallions for the upcoming submit. It comes in three kinds, gold, fine silver and nickel-plated zinc with about a thousand pieces of gold medallion offered for initial worldwide mintage at about one thousand US dollars per piece. The director of Singapore Mint, David Yip, said that the public response to the online order for the medallions has been so overwhelming that they had to increase production. One of our primary mission is to document history. We want to provide a, some form of time capsule to capture that that moment in time that is critical and important to the rest of the world. Now, if this is a successful peace talk, uh, it will go down to in history. And uh, we want to play the part uh, to basically document that through a medal. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.